Welcome to Leading with Landscape, and of course, welcome to Raleigh. I'm Mayor Nancy McFarland. We're so happy to have planners, landscape architects, architects, community leaders from all over the country to join us here for this conference. I'll give a quick shout out to Mitch Silver, our city planner for many years, who got uh, swept away by New York City, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> Often I, I do come to conferences and provide opening remarks, but I have to say rarely does a conference impact uh, the work that I'm involved in so directly. As some of you may have heard, Raleigh's in the process of developing a little piece of land right next door called Dix Park. It's uh, 306 or so acres. It's uh, going to be an incredible new destination park. We are currently in the master planning process. And there has been input from thousands of citizens um, from all kinds of events. We go out to festivals all around the city, but we also have had incredible events on the park. Everything from, uh, unfortunately, a, a great, great party in July on the hottest day of the year. But we still had 20-some thousand people show up. So it really does show you how much people do love our open spaces. And this is one that we are yet to design, but just the uh, natural characteristics of it are so incredible and so beautiful. <clears throat> Surprisingly, there are so many people that live in the city that have never even been there. So important things like sledding and all, all kinds of things are bringing people out. <clears throat> you know, the Triangle region is very proud of its efforts to preserve great uh, places and focus on quality design. This includes the North Carolina Museum of Art Park, which is an incredible, um, thanks Dan, I want to say recently opened, it hasn't been too long, but that's a 165 acre park to add to our inventory. Um, we have various initiatives at Duke, like their focus on the historical campus advancement uh, of the Innovation District and the City of Raleigh's work on Moore Square. Uh, landscape flu influences all aspects of our lives from the moment we leave our homes. It includes our streetscapes, our important natural areas, urban design, and opportunities to celebrate our creativity. In Raleigh, as elsewhere, our landscapes are our natural and our built environments. <clears throat> the American Society of Landscape Architects reminds us that the idea of nature is also, as infrastructure, is not new and is now uh, that it's more widely understood and more important than ever for our quality of life. Quality design that is inclusive, transparent, and intentional represents our values of who we are and, more importantly, who we want to be. I have no doubt that each of you will learn a great many things from each other um, about public spaces and enjoy this time together with others in the field. I hope you have a really great time while you're here in Raleigh and you're able to explore some of the things that and areas that really make Raleigh great. <clears throat> uh, we have incredible restaurants, uh, as I mentioned, parks, museums, shopping, and I hope that you find your time here with uh, Leading with Landscapes to be rewarding. So thank you so much for joining us here and have a great day.